Surrey Cruz's wardrobe as a five-year-old was worth more than some people's houses, and her life has only gotten more interesting since then. This is what she's been up to since becoming a young adult. On April 18, 2006, Surrey Cruz was born in Santa Monica, California to superstar couple Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. After a whirlwind romance that included a notorious appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show, the couple got engaged and announced that they were expecting a child together in October 2005. Tom was reportedly so excited that he even bought a sonogram machine in order to see baby Surrey in utero. As he revealed during an interview with Vanity Fair, the name Surrey came from a baby name book, meaning Red Rose. When she was born, she reportedly weighed 7 pounds 7 ounces and measured 20 inches long. Days after the birth, Tom revealed to 2020, "...it was everything that we wanted it to be. It was spiritual. It was powerful. It was indescribable. What words can you use? It's still something that I'm processing and keep reliving." On November 18, 2006, Surrey Cruz was the guest of honor at her parents' wedding. It was a star-studded ceremony inside a 15th-century Italian castle. The celebration reportedly cost upwards of $3 million and featured a dinner serenade by Andrea Bocelli, as well as a pair of Armani wedding gowns worn by the bride throughout the night. She was sporting one of the two gowns as she arrived at the castle while carrying a seven-month-old Surrey. Throughout the course of their six-year marriage, Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes were fixtures in the tabloids, and so was their daughter. It might sound a little bizarre, but Surrey Cruise quickly became a style icon, even before she could walk. By the time she was five years old, she'd reportedly already accrued a wardrobe worth approximately $3.2 million, including $150,000 worth of shoes alone. Surrey's collection included high-fashion brands such as Dolce & Gabbana and Ferragamo. She even became the namesake of a phenomenon known as the Surrey Cruise Effect, in which parents were influenced by the chic wardrobes of A-list celebrity children and spent top dollar on the latest fashions for their own toddlers. But the media buzz wasn't all positive, as Surrey's parents were criticized for allowing her to dress in high heels, wear lipstick, and have manicured nails. Won't somebody please think of the children? Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes eventually called it quits and divorced in the summer of 2012. Proceedings moved swiftly, with a settlement reportedly reached after just 11 days. Holmes was awarded primary custody of Surrey, with Tom granted visitation rights. While Holmes didn't receive any spousal support in the settlement, Surrey was set to receive $400,000 in child support per year until her 18th birthday. Tom is also required to pay for Surrey's expenses, including medical, dental, insurance, education, college, and other extracurricular costs. As the now ex is announced in a joint statement, "...we are committed to working together as parents to accomplish what is in our daughter Surrey's best interests. We want to keep matters affecting our family private and express our respect for each other's commitment to each of our respective beliefs and support each other's roles as parents." Tom and Surrey Cruz haven't been seen in public together since a visit to Disneyland in 2012. He reportedly has the right to see her up to 10 days a month, but he chooses not to, reportedly because of Holmes and Surrey's distance from Scientology. This might have to do with Tom considering his daughter a suppressive person, which Scientologists are taught to avoid. In June 2014, In Touch reported that Tom hadn't seen or spoken to his daughter in 1,000 days. And in April 2019, an insider told Hollywood Life, "...he still loves her, he thinks about her all the time. Tom never intended to be estranged from his daughter when he decided to have a family with Katie, and looks forward to repairing the relationship one day." After the divorce, Katie Holmes was granted primary custody of Surrey, and they then moved from California to New York City. Holmes enrolled her daughter in first grade at Avenues, a Chelsea private school, with a $40,000 tuition. She talked about that time as a newly single mom in a 2022 interview with InStyle, as she admitted, "...it was a lot of attention, and I had a little child on top of it. We had some funny moments out and about in public. So many people I didn't know became my friends and helped us out, and that's what I love about the city." The mother-daughter duo don't hold back when it comes to displaying their close relationship during public appearances. They've been seen at each other's hips at events like the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards and the Z100 Jingle Ball introducing Taylor Swift. And they've also been spotted strutting the streets of Manhattan wearing matching outfits. As Holmes told Elle in 2019, "...I was happy to become a mom in my 20s. Every age that my child has been and my age at that time has been a good match. We kind of grew up together." You have to be the coolest mom in the world right now. Uh. Through glimpses of Surrey's life on her mom's Instagram, we can tell that she's already becoming a stylish and confident young lady. In a 2018 interview with Today, Holmes explained, "...I listen to her, it's a daily thing. I try to reward her for her hard work and not necessarily the results of the hard work. 
The proud mama also talked about how they do good together, as she revealed. I do a lot to put perspective on life. We help out the homeless, we do small acts of kindness, I don't overgift, I don't inundate my child with a lot of things. We're trying to raise good humans, and some days we're better at it than others. We just focus on what she's passionate about and how you feel when you achieve your goals. I also demand a 100 on a spelling test. I think I have the coolest daughter in the world. During the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic in the spring of 2020, Katie Holmes and Surrey Cruz found themselves in and out of New York. They remained quarantined in their NYC apartment during lockdown, and Holmes even shared a candid photo of Surrey celebrating her 14th birthday on Instagram that April. As Holmes revealed to Entertainment Tonight, this lockdown has had a lot of silver linings. It was a beautiful moment. I think when you have less, you are more creative. This year has also been a reminder that the simple things are really beautiful, and that is, those are the gifts of life. And in an interview with Yahoo!, Holmes discussed how she felt about Surrey possibly re-entering school in a post-COVID pandemic environment, as she admitted. I want everybody to be as safe as possible. It's a hard one. I have no expertise on this in terms of health measures, but I just want to be as smart as possible for the whole community and to really prevent anyone from getting sick. My heart really goes out to all the people who have lost people. As an independent teenager, Surrey Cruz sightings are becoming more frequent in public as she explores New York City with her friends. And she's been looking more and more like her mom every day, and becoming a Gen Z style icon in the process. During a visit to the Harry Potter store in Manhattan's Flatiron District in 2022, she and her friends were seen rocking Slytherin house colors and bringing back early 2000s clothing staples like floral midi skirts and Converse sneakers. This wasn't the first time that Surrey had stepped out in some vintage threads, as she's also been spotted bringing lowrider flare jeans back in style. Her mother-daughter bond is still going strong as well, with Mama Holmes showing off their adventures in tie-dye together on Instagram in May 2020. As Holmes revealed in a 2022 interview with InStyle, I love her so much. My biggest goal has always been to nurture her into her individuality, to make sure she is 100% herself and strong, confident and able. And to know it, she came out very strong. She's always been a strong personality. She'll pick an activity and work her butt off until she's really good at it. Then she's like, okay, I'm going to try the next thing. She's very focused and a hard worker. I know myself more because of her. In April 2022, Surrey Cruz celebrated her sweet 16th birthday. She keeps a low profile online, but every now and then her mom will send out a loving post on Instagram to celebrate with fans. That includes a birthday message the year before, along with the caption, Happy 15th birthday, sweetheart. I love you. I can't believe you are already 15. Despite those good vibes, witnessing her daughter transform over the years hasn't always been easy for Holmes, as is the case for pretty much any parent. As she admitted in a 2017 interview with Town & Country, "...every day kids get a little further away from you. That's a positive thing. They should be becoming more independent, but it's heartbreaking. You want them to stay with you forever, but they're these amazing beings, and you have to do everything you can to give them what they need, and then they're going to go, and that's going to be very, very sad for me." In June 2022, Holmes introduced Surrey to her new boyfriend, musician and composer Bobby Wooten III. The new couple made their public debut as a couple that May at the Moth's 25th anniversary gala, The Silver Ball, which was held at Spring Studios in New York City. An insider revealed to Hollywood Life that Surrey absolutely approves of Wooten, while also noting, "...Bobby treats Surrey like an adult, which she likes, and Surrey thinks it is great to see her mom happy."